you crazy crazy people that like guitars that are not symmetrical we're talking about offsets uh, i here have a mustang i have to admit it's my first mustang ever i don't actually think i've ever played a mustang before um because i don't quite get it it's like is this a strat but less that's actually exactly what it is um what what's the point of the mustang so i googled it a bit and yes, that was the point. The point was to make a cheaper guitar uh, with only two pickups, which means all electronic was more simple. Uh, you don't have an extra uh, little cavity here for the, for the uh, plug, which is directly here. Um, of course, it had the, usually has the weird kind of flatty trim. Everything was cheap. It was supposed to be a cheaper guitar after uh, the Strat and the Tally. So that's how it came about. Now, in the player series, which is what we're looking at here, which is the Made in Mexico entry level, I, would, I want to call them US line, but that's wrong because it's Made in Mexico, but it's meaning not Asian. Uh, let's call it North American line. Um, that includes Mexico. 
there's this, and then there's the Duosonic, which are tough to tell apart. I think on the Mustang, you have this uh, three-ply pickguard, and then a metal piece here. Metal! Um, and on the Duosonic, this is all one piece, and the pickups, or one of the pickups has a different angle. That's really all I can tell, unless the pickups are drastically different. Um, it's a smaller body, obviously, nicely lightweight, um, string through body in for rules. You don't have a trem here, which is great because in the price range uh, where people buy beginner guitars, you won't find a trem that's super stable. So let's just not have one. That's a good idea. Um, I'm going to go try to find some stats here for you right now. There's also a Jazz Master in the series uh, with two humbuckers. Um, so we're looking at, this is the Mustang. Yeah, the On the website, the Player Series Mustang only comes in a maple fretboard. The color that I have here is called Fire Mist Gold. You also get it in Sienna Sunburst, which is very traditional, and a beautiful sonic blue. Ah, on the Fire Mist Gold, you only get a Porfero fretboard. So this is Porfero, which is similar to Rosewood. I get how this website works. It's got a modern C neck, skunk stripe right there. I love how light and maneuver maneuverable this is. Of course, a, a bigger headstock than a traditional Strat. With a big ass Mustang thing on it. Uh, 24 inches. So this is even shorter than a Les Paul, which is kind of the idea. I think traditionally it was slightly different. Traditionally it also had different woods. So this isn't the super tradition, traditional Mustang the way that it came when it was invented. So then we're going to look at specs. It's an older body, maple neck. Um, we have 22 frets, synthetic bone nut, which might be fine here because we don't have a trim. Then we have a six saddle string through body, blah, blah, blah. Where are the pickups? Uh, Mustang single coil and Mustang single coil. That, that's what we got. Three position switch. It's a straightforward kind of strat, but not single coil rock axe. I, you rarely see people on Mustangs being, you know, the virtuoso kind of solo people. This is traditionally more used in a garage rock, grunge rock, um, alternative kind of a vibe. Why? I don't know, because technically you can't do anything on it that you can do on a Strat except for the in-between positions. Um, but we'll figure it out. Obviously, the fixed push will do a, sl a slight difference. It will be a slight difference. Um, now, let's talk quickly, quickly, because Leslie said, keep it short, about the setup. All three player series guitars that I got were not set up at all, but they were rushed to me. So maybe they were like, well, let's rather get them out. They're not set up, uh, but at least he has them. Um, I had to adjust the necks because the action was rather high. I had to adjust the intonation because that wasn't fixed at all. So the intonation near 12 fret wasn't there. Um, it's something you can do if you know a little bit, and I only know a little bit about guitar setups. I'm very bad at it. But if you're a beginner, which this might be aimed at, at like, you know, 600 bucks, that might be asking too much. However, uh, my friend Ross Campbell said he got a tally was set up beautifully. My buddy Harry Holden got a, uh, a Mustang and it was set up too well. He, li he liked the action higher, so he had to adjust in the opposite direction. Andy Ferris got the same guitar, but uh, didn't talk to me about it because he's too busy. Um, and uh, I asked uh, Chris Atoman and he said, yeah, generally the Fender guitars uh, are not set up great. So, uh, and he's, you know, he's, he's doing setups on these guitars. But he said, when you order them, and I'm pretty sure that applies to Sweetwater as well, put in the comment box when you order online, please do a setup on the guitar, which is part of their service. Because if you're in the shop and you're buying this in the shop, they will do a setup. So why wouldn't they do the setup when you order it online? Yes, you can do that. So just write it in the comment box. You might have to be a little bit more patient because it takes a couple days for them to take it from the warehouse to the service and do the setup, but it might be worth asking for if you don't know how to do it. Now, the thing about this guitar is in this price range, paint done great, neck feels super. It, it doesn't feel like a cheap guitar at all. I don't see any flaws. 
um, couple of things I would bitch about. Uh, the white side dots, which are half in the fretboard and half in the neck because it's a thinner fretboard. And then they look like this, which is, they're not super popping out of the, the neck. You can only see half of them. So in certain lighting conditions, that might be a little bit of a problem. Okay. I would recommend duplicating the nut. It's a synthetic bone, but the tuning stability on these player series guitars isn't amazing. Now on the Strat, it's the Trem, we know that. Um, what could it be here? I don't see a problem back here. Um, so it could be the tuners themselves, which are easily replaced by a couple of different other brands. Um, the thing that I noticed immediately was the string tree, which you can see is very low and is kind of missing the distance piece to put that a little bit higher. And can you see the angle, how the strings come down really steep compared to the other four strings and then go even up again? Now, again, I asked Chris Atoma and he said, yes, that's normal. And then I sent these picks to uh, my friend Uwe Schultz from Tonforce Guitars, a master luthier who said, yeah, yeah, I, I will do that sometimes as well. Um, if I can achieve the constant string angle on all the strings. So the string pull is the same, tuning feels the same, and it stays in tune. However, in this case, it is not applied correctly. This would have to be further here, further to the tuners, in order for this angle here to be better. But then back here, it would come up really straight. So he would say, yes, he'll do it, depending on the headstock. In this case, he would have used the distance piece. But... That doesn't mean don't buy this guitar. It simply means when you order it, order it uh, with a, I don't even know how much they are. Wait. Well, order it with a, a set of 10 euro 40 GraphTech string trees. You get two. And I'm gonna show you how quickly you can fix some tuning stabilities uh, and just actually really greatly improve this guitar with a piece of tech that you can buy for 10 bucks that you actually only find on like really high-end guitars. My Schecter Custom Shop has that. Uh, my uh, Friedman guitar has that. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's, it takes about two minutes. It's super, super simple. So here's a string tree. You loosen this, uh, the top two strings. Done. You remove the string tree with the correct screwdriver. And then you have your GraphTech string trees. Got two of them. I already opened one up for this strat. So there it is with different length screws. I chose to take the longer one. Since we already have a screw hole, you can see this, this has an actual distance piece built in right there. So this doesn't even take two minutes. This is one of the easiest mods you can do on any guitar to actually improve tuning stability because this is self-lubricating and the strings will... Well, now they have a much better angle. They almost have the same angle as the middle two strings. Can you see that? A little bit steeper still, but great. Big improvement. I will also apply some slipstick, which I got from Wilkinson. Trevor Wilkinson's daughter gave this to me which you rub kind of on the nut, and it makes, a, uh, makes it more lubricated. Apparently lasts for a long, long time. So what you do is you loosen the strings, kind of lift it out, really cake that in there, bam, back in. Probably too much now. It's kind of like a chapstick. You could probably use your Nivea chapstick. Probably the same thing. Take the access off a bit. Done. Now we tune and then we're ready to play. So this is a very, very quick little uh, improvement. And I would recommend, considering that this seems to be standard, but it doesn't look bad at all. Might not look as traditional, but it is an improvement. It's something you can quickly do when you get the guitar. Tunes really nice and fast now. Which brings us finally to some sounds. Into the Tone King Sky King. 
You know, of course you're gonna say, well, why is he testing this 600 euro guitar with all these super high-end amps? Well, because we need to see that what we're testing is always the lowest common denominator. If I tested this with a cheapo amp and we get a crappy sound, where's the crappy sound coming from? From the guitar? from the cheap cable, from the cheap pedal, from the cheap amp, you don't know. So everything around this has to be much better than the thing I'm testing so that you know that it can keep up with that level of gear. It really makes sense. So there's the Sky King uh, into the Ox with the 412 Queenback loaded cab. sound all the way like a Strat. It has a different bridge, it has different pickups, the pickup is slanted, who knows, it's Stratesque without being Stratalicious. Middle. Back. Also, Strat is 25.5 inch scale, and this is 24, which is considerably 1.5 inch less. Let's try that with a little bit of overdrive from the Antares from Tate. That's honky, that's cool. The field marshal from that's put the field marshal from Thorpe in front of it. That's a really cool fuzz.
it's a really cool guitar. Plays super easy. Sounds great. It's relatively in tune now, so lubricate that, put a different string tree on, 10 bucks later, you have a golden cow, which you shouldn't have, according to some book. Was it a calf? Was it, is it a chicken? I don't know. We're gonna send that into different amps. Like for example, let's do the um, Marshall Mini Plexi, the SV20H. I, I didn't do that. Now, here we go. I like that it's very thin and bitey back here. Can be great with high gain stuff, but really thick over here. Going a little bit nuts there, but why not? Marshall JCM 800. If I push in the number correctly. Let's see if we can get a, let's see if we can get a lead sound out of that by pushing it with the Antares and putting some delay on it. Yeah, we can. And we move on to a voxy kind of a thing, which is the Morgan AC20. That is horrible. <laughs> I mean, that's me playing horribly. That's what, what I mean. Doesn't push the amp a lot, it doesn't have massive output, which is kind of nice. Um, 
I'm gonna go into the, into the Friedman Dirty Shirley. <laughs> We're going to go into the Friedman, what I think called the uh, small box, which is kind of like a modern plexi high gear. <laughs> Let's try this one. Played this for years, teaching that to students, and it's still fun. You know, good old Beatles. Or was it Stones? That's so fat right here. Okay, I'm having fun. Um, orange rocker verb 50. I don't know where my fingers go, but they go. You know what? That all works. Um. I like that this is not as defined as a Strat or a Tally. I like that tonally, what does a Mustang sound like? Well, I don't know. Uh, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't really know exactly when they hear that sound. Oh, that's a Mustang. It's light, it's smaller. It could be a perfect guitar for the ladies because it is a smaller instrument. It is a shorter scale, which could be good uh, uh, for beginners, when, especially, you know, kids. I like... Everything about this is it's a thinner body as well. Um, other than the setup that it came in, which can easily be fixed by you simply asking the people that you buy from, hey, can you set that up? Which is usually part of the service. So Toma will probably do this. Well, they definitely do it when you write it in. Uh, Sweetwater will definitely do this, I think. They might, I'm not sure. I actually have no idea, but let's say they do. Um, or the local shop, support your local shops where you buy this. They will take it in the back and set it up for you. And if you... I'm uh, pretty sure if at Toman you say, hey, can you, by the way, when you set it up, put a graphtech string tree on that, I purchased that with it. I'm sure they'll do that as well. As you could see, oh, I, actually, you can't do that yourself. That took about 30 seconds to do. Bloop, bloop, done. And actually, you have to make those sounds. Bloop, bloop, you know? Um, I like this. This is pretty damn cool. I love the color. Slightly green. I love the price. I uh, love the playability. Love the build quality, like the people behind it. What else can I say? Mustang time, baby. Um, I put links below. Very important that you use them. That actually is, you know, supporting the channel big time. Uh, support me, please. Click on the Instagram and the Facebook and the Twitter and all that stuff. Uh, that gives me 
more power to get shit for you to review, okay? If I call up a company saying, oh, I've got this channel and, you know, I have seven videos with, you know, 40 views, uh, they're not going to send me shit. The more you support me, the more they send me shit. And then I can show it to you. You know, it's a job. I like it. You like it, otherwise why would you be watching this? Um, use all the links. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. It's Sunday and she's sacrificing her Sunday. And there will also be animals on the t-shirt, which you can buy at Teespring, link below. And also at the end, you know, 